How's everyone doing? It's Indiana here with Emptor Audio. And today we're taking a look at the Tazicam. This is going to be the T200W. Um, this is an interesting product because this is pretty much one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, Bluetooth stereo amplifiers that you can find on Amazon. It goes for right around $49, and that's before any sales or coupons, which is kind of cool. Um, but at the same time, it is the cheapest, so you're going to be not expecting too much. I really wasn't sure what to expect here. Um, they do make it in black and red, which is kind of cool. And I will say, I do like the finish on this thing. In person, it's kind of like this like speckled red. It's kind of neat. However, though, that's kind of where the external stuff that's kind of cool ends there. Um, on the front, I'm not a huge fan of how this thing looks. It's, you know, very just kind of meh. It looks like you kind of printed off something from the 90s, honestly, on the front here. Um, I will say the volume control is extremely sensitive. Um, I never really moved it much more than this, like, 7 o'clock. You know, it can go all the way around, of course, but it, it's pretty much super loud at that point already. So there's not, like, a huge amount of, you know, precision with the volume control. Um, the treble and bass, you know, controls, they do work. That's awesome. Um, power... Just the power button, nothing crazy there. There is this little auxiliary light that tells you if it's on or off. That's one of the big annoyances of this thing. Uh, a lot of other reviews on Amazon complain about that. It flashes red when it's not in Bluetooth mode. Kind of weird there. It's super annoying um, if you're using this as like a desktop amplifier because it's just nonstop flashing red, 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 red all the time. And it's actually quite bright too. Um, when it's in Bluetooth mode, it just goes solid red, which it should be all the time, honestly. I wish it would just stay like a solid green in Bluetooth mode and a solid red when it's not in Bluetooth mode. That'd actually be awesome there. Um, on the back, it is going to be extremely compact here. Um, of course, we have a um, antenna in the box. If you're using Bluetooth, you don't need to use it if you're quite close. I will say that's pretty neat. Um, then it's got your power supply. Power supply is massive, as expected from a lot of these units. It claims a 100 watt class D by 2 wouldn't say it's going to be 100 watts per se, but it is super loud, so could be. Um, one complaint I have is this is the tightest five-way binding post that I have ever seen in my life. Um, even with my really tiny uh, banana connectors, they are just like right up against each other, kind of pushing each other away. Kind of annoying just how tight these could be. I wish they could space them out a little bit more. And then, of course, you have RCA in on the back. So a very simple amp, you know, nothing crazy to it. Uh, we, of course, do have, you know, little little feet in the bottom here, nothing too crazy there. And that's about it for the, you know, unit itself. I will say the box it came in is kind of cool because most of the other boxes you get from, you know, other brands that I find on Amazon, there's kind of like a, a blank white box. This thing actually has some, you know, some nice, you know, artwork on it, which is pretty neat. I will say, though, that is not the unit in the box here. That's a little bit different unit than I have here. So that's kind of fun there. I'm sure you use the same box for a bunch of different models there, but that's kind of fun. Um, listening, though, I will say listening is where I'm like, this is going to make or break this unit. Um, first things first that I noticed, um, when you play it quieter, my right channel was a little bit louder than the left channel. That's one of my kind of annoyances there. It's very noticeable right away. When you get to a volume that's about, I would say, comfortable, it does change over to pretty well balanced then. There's no balance control on this, unfortunately, which is kind of disappointing. I wish there was some balance control there. That'd be awesome. Um, however, though, when you get into listening, it's actually pretty decent, honestly. It's not like it's bad in any way. Um, I will say the only two negative notes I found when listening to it are going to be the highs are a little sharp, and then the lows are a little lacking in the lower bass. That's about it. Uh, other than that, I thought it sounded totally fine, actually. I was kind of blown away by just how good it sounded, actually, for a $50 amp. I was thinking it would just be like, it kind of sounds muddied and just garbage, but honestly, no, I actually done it pretty good. I was actually quite surprised. Um, so I would not call this a hi-fi amp by any stretch because of the, you know, don't put this on your desktop. You're going to you're gonna hate that because of that flashing light. Um, I had this, you know, just set up, you know, to my right here or to my left, and it was just meh. <laughs> it was not great because it's just flashing right in your face the whole time. Really, really annoying and was not a big fan of that. 
Um, though if you're using this somewhere, you know, out of the way, like just a Bluetooth amplifier, you're just going to kind of, you know, clip on and put the Bluetooth on. Honestly, it's fantastic. Uh, especially if you're on this to like, say, some in-ceiling speakers somewhere else, that'd be awesome. Um, if you're just running this, you know, maybe in a, a bedroom and this thing is maybe hidden somewhere, fantastic. You know, it's, it's going to work great in that way. Um, just not, you know, a hi-fi amplifier for your desktop or for some, you know, nice listening setup. I would definitely not recommend it for that. Um, but it does redeem itself nicely in the audio. Honestly, it, it's not, I've heard worse amps that cost way more than this and it's pretty decent. I will say because there is no DAC built in, beware of that. So you're going to have to run it over some decent DAC, which you can find many cheap ones on Amazon too. So for well under $100, you can actually have a pretty decent setup. Definitely not hi-fi though. Don't get me wrong on that one. Definitely not, you know, blowing you away with how awesome it sounds. The thing is though, you could easily spend an extra $20, $30 and get something nicer from other brands on Amazon like Fozzy Audio. Um, this actually does look like pretty close to a Fozzy Audio piece that I saw on Amazon too. So wouldn't be surprised if it's kind of similar stuff there. Um, but for under 50 bucks, and that's before coupons, before any sales though, it's not terrible for what it is, honestly. So that I was kind of thinking this might be just, you know, awful for what it would be. But no, I mean, there's a few complaints I've got on it. But if you can get around the flashing light, the kind of tight binding post there, um, this thing is kind of, you know, one of those things where it's better off hidden than it is on display, honestly. Uh, if you can get around that, it's not bad, honestly. It's just for powering maybe some outdoor speakers, some in-ceiling speakers. Um, if you want to just power some bookshelf speakers and you want to keep this thing kind of hidden away just using Bluetooth on it, it's actually a really, really cheap, somewhat good Bluetooth amplifier solution there. So that's kind of my thoughts on this thing. It's not perfect, but for what you're paying for it, it's not bad either. So that's kind of my thoughts on this thing. I would say check it out if you got a, you know, a, a random solution for this thing. You want to power some speakers in your garage, you know, for really cheap. There you go. Not a bad solution. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care out there, guys, and have a great day.